Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely day. If you are new, then hi, my name's Kate and I make videos about um, interiors, fashion, vlogs, motherhood, lifestyle, that kind of thing. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, I would love for you to come and join us and subscribe. The button should be just down there somewhere. Today is gonna be our room tour. Um, it's very much long awaited for me. Basically, you may know that we moved into this, this house almost a year ago and we've spent the last year renovating upstairs so we've now done our room Archie's room Elliot's room Finley's nursery um, and our hallway like from the stairs upwards the bathroom didn't really need doing just yet anyway we're gonna leave that for a little bit longer so I'm so glad that we got all that done and we got it done like days before Finley was born my dad has done so much because he's a carpenter by trade. He is very talented and we're so lucky to have him. He's been helpful on every single room, done lots of different projects that I would literally sketch out and he would create them. So you'll see some of those in this video, but I can never thank him enough. Like he's just been incredible. So I've wanted to share these room tours with you for so long and you may be wondering why I haven't done yet and it's basically because doing each room up here has been like a jigsaw puzzle as soon as one room was done we would have to bring everything from the next room like into this room and then this room was trashed again so there's never felt like a time where it's all been lovely and done and finished it's still not 100% finished but it probably never will be 100% in any room let's be honest so that's kind of been why and then I got more and more and more pregnant I tried to film a few last year like Archie's room and I just sound like I'm just out of breath the whole time so I thought I'm gonna wait till the new year when I get back into filming and I'm gonna film them all for you because last year I just didn't have as I have enough energy if I'm honest but yeah first of all I'm gonna show you some before and afters so I've got some before photos and videos sorry if they are sort of um portrait like because I took most of them on my phone if I can find any camera footage I'll insert that too um, and then show you the after and then I'm going to do a more in-depth room tour and kind of show you where everything's from and what we did so I really hope you enjoy the video everyone let's get into it <laughs> It feels so calming and peaceful. I wanted to make it look a little bit like a hotel bedroom, but also just have that comely, comely, <laughs> cozy, homely vibe. Um, a little bit countryfied, but I love how it's turned out so much um, with the panelling that my dad did. We painted that in Farrow and Ball um, Hardwick White, which as you can see is just not white at all. The lighting is not the best on this um January day, but it's sort of a greeny, greyy colour. Um, it looks different in different lights. I love it, it's coming across really grey on this camera, but it is definitely more, I'm trying to change angle so you can see. You probably can't tell, maybe in pictures it comes out better, but it's more of a greeny colour, um, which yeah, I love it. Really glad we picked that in the end. And then this is our bed. We've had this for quite a long time now. It's It was from Time for Sleep, I think it was called. I don't think they make it anymore. I believe it was called the Symphony Bed or something. It's an Ottoman bed, so it lifts up with storage inside it. And it's just been amazing. We actually had it cleaned last year when we were doing the room. I'll try and put some pictures in because there was like a stain on the headboard, which was from, I think, just like, sounds gross, but years of putting the back of your head on it, grease, ugh, that kind of thing, on a cream headboard, um, it does start to show after some time. And 
I, it looks really even worse in these pictures because I tried to clean it myself in these before photos so it was wet. Um, but the guy that came out and cleaned it, I think they were called Carpet Doctor. I'll link them below as well because they were so lovely. Um, and he did such an amazing job and he got it looking perfect again. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend that. I'm going to get them out again to do like the sofas and stuff because they were great. Um, anyway, so on our bed... At the moment, we do have like quite basic bed linen because we have the baby. There's lots of uh, sick poop that can end up landing on it. So I really want to get some nice luxurious bedding, like hotel bedding, but I'm going to wait for a little while on that. The cushions are from H&M and from the white company i actually got these in their sale the bedding by the way is from dunelm it's their basic non-iron range although i feel like it kind of does need an iron but anyway um and some of these pillowcases the ones with the bobbles on are from dusk but they're just all a bit random at the moment but the pillows that we have now are the emma mattress pillows and they very kindly sponsored this section of the video. We've got the memory foam pillows, which are perfect if you like a bit of support. Your head just really sinks in and like kind of molds into it like a memory foam mattress does. And Ricky loves more of a sturdier pillow. And then we've also got the microfiber ones, which I prefer a softer pillow. And these just feel like down, but they're not. Um, so they're really great if you're like a soft sleeper, you like sleeping on something soft. I just feel like you can't put a price on a good night's sleep, especially when you've got a newborn, you realise just how good sleep was. You don't realise how much you're going to miss it until it's gone. So when we do get those little hours of sleep between him having a feed and stuff, it's like precious at the moment. I just find that it's so important to invest in good things to sleep on because you're in bed so much of your life really like I said we've got our bed we spent quite a lot of money on the bed um, and it's just seen us so well it's just needed that one head pulled clean but it's been great we don't actually have an Emma mattress at the moment because again we have a mattress that we've had for about four or five years and it's in perfectly good condition um, but when we do come to replace it we're definitely going to get an Emma mattress because Archie has one on his bed so he's got a single one um, and it's incredible again it's like memory foam and he always has a really good night's rested sleep on it he's such a good sleeper um so yeah i really rate their mattresses as well but at the moment we have their pillows i've really enjoyed testing them out i think they've been great and they're just really great quality i've tried so many different pillows from different places um you know regular high street stores thinking that they'll be quite good quality and they just go like flat as a pancake or all lumpy and they're not good so these ones have been fantastic so far so this is actually their weighted throw i can't tell you how heavy it is they're sort of like little beans in each of these pockets it's meant to be good for anxiety and to um make you feel a lot calmer so it's really nice just in the evenings if i'm sitting on the bed maybe watching tv to just pull it up and have it on me if you're looking to invest in a new mattress or pillows for example um, I will leave the link to the website in the description box below you can go and check it out and as I said the quality of their products is really lovely so I really recommend them so if I come out a little bit you can kind of see everything as a whole these are our bedside tables I absolutely love them it's taken me about three years to find bedside tables I actually like I wasn't really sure what style I wanted but I'm really liking these mango wood ones because I feel like the wood warms up the room a little bit more and I wanted quite large bedside tables with drawers so these are perfect I cannot remember the name of the website I bought them from so again I'll link them below um but yeah they've just been really really good and we have our wall lights I've always wanted lights in the wall but obviously you need an electrician to do it so whilst we were doing everything else and we had our electrician I finally was able to have some put up so these are actually from Matalan and we had them chased into the wall we still need to sort like patch up the wall a bit but you know they're actually I just find it fascinating that I've got switches on the wall I feel like I'm in a hotel like and I feel like that's very grown up is that a bit sad um and then our lamps from our old bedroom bedside tables are from Hudson home now I know we do not need two lamps <laughs> and for a long time they weren't on the tables but the tables are quite big 
And as soon as I put the, everything in place, I was kind of like, oh, bedside tables look nice with lamps on, and now we have lamps on the wall, we don't need them. But anyway, I'm sure some people will think it looks a little strange, but I, I just adore those lamps. And I may move them downstairs when we have our extension done, but for now, I didn't want them to get broken because they're glass and they're beautiful. So I kept them. I mean, I love this shade. Again, it goes really well with our bed and they're just beautiful. I've got this little artichoke tea light holder from the range. And then we have little coasters as well if we have a drink. This is actually Ricky's side, but because this is where the cot fits and it would have to be by the radiator and window over there, um, we've swapped sides for now. So I'm on this side, but we haven't swapped what's on the top of our beds, bedside tables. So Rick has exactly the same over on his side, except usually I'm here. So I've got like my neon diffuser, the little flowers. I'm a big neon fan, as you can see. So I've got the scent to sleep candles. I've got a little Jo Malone English pear and freesia perfume and just bits and bobs that, you know, us girls have by the bed. <laughs> and Rick's is a lot more simple. Um, over here, I just thought it would look really cute to have this little peg shelf. I was planning on having maybe some cardigans and like or blankets hanging from it. I've seen some Pinteresty things, but I haven't been able to make that look right yet. So I've got this print from Collection Prints, which we'll see a few more times in the room. I love these. This was, I think, from H&M, this peg rail or rack or whatever they're called. And then this little basket was from Ollie Ella which I may end up putting in the baby's room. Ollie Ella is like a kid's brand, but obviously it's just a basket. So I thought it looked really nice there. And I ended up putting these little, oh, someone tell me what these are and I can't remember what the flowers are called. I just ended up putting them in there and they stayed in there. So I just, yeah, just overall, I think it looks really lovely. The light, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but we have two of them, one over there, one over there. Oh, where were they from? My mind's gone blank, guys. Um, I found them online. I did a lot of shopping around, so they weren't from like a high street store, but again, I'll link them. I just wanted something with a simple shade in sort of this, this these are a bit more gold than antique brass, but they're still quite an antique looking color. And I just thought they looked quite nice. Um, we have our mirror here, which used to be, well, we had a couple of them in our old house, but this wall, is literally the exact size of it so it had to go there um it's huge so it's actually been screwed into wood which is inside the wall to make it really really secure my dad is very particular about things like that he'd never put a mirror up without it being very secure in the wall so that's there but again it just makes the room look so much bigger and oh it was from the range and also no, I've got two that are identical. One was from the range and one was from Amazon. So I'm not actually sure which this one is because they're pretty much the same, but you can find them on Amazon if you can't find them in the range. Um, if we come around here, apart from the bed area, this is definitely my favorite area of the room because it's the biggest transformation. So this is the part that my dad built. None of this was here before apart from this triangular corner bit was here but in a different way which we'll see in the before clips and photos um, I'm going to show you our TV the reason I kept it on like that was because this is um, a Samsung uh, frame TV which I've wanted for so long it was a bit of um, an extravagant purchase really but I just loved it so you can just go like that and it turns into a picture frame now on the screen it's coming out looking really orangey it doesn't look like that in real life but in the oh hang on what have i done in the settings you can change the brightness you can change the tones you can make it less orangey or more blue um and things like that so yeah it looks a bit odd on the camera but it's it's really lovely you can change the art and i actually bought the art digital art from collection prints as well because as well as their prints which i have around the room they do it for these TVs as well, which is how I found them. They're an American company, I think. So you just download it and you can have whatever art you want on there. You could have family photos on there if you want to as well. So my dad built out the chimney breast, which wasn't there before because we really wanted a little electric fire too, which I'll quickly show you on. You can also have it on without the heat coming out and then it's just quiet. So it looks really, really pretty. 
um, especially just in the evening. I can't believe we have a bedroom with a little fireplace with the TV and it's just so, so cosy and nice to sit in here. Um, I just feel really lucky. And then, as I said, my dad built all this. I kind of drew out a little sketch and he made it come to life. So we did the tan and groove kind of panelling at the back because I just thought it would add a really nice kind of layer to the shelves. And then I had so much fun styling them up, um, all the little bits and bobs, and then two cupboards as well, which is really handy storage. Like This is quite an awkward space, the way this is here, but I feel like we've utilised it much better than it was before and it just looks really nice. So just quickly, most things are from um, HomeSense. So if I don't point it out, it was from HomeSense. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So HomeSense, and then I found these in a charity shop in Tunbridge Wells. My favorite purchases ever. Won't be everyone's cup of tea, but I just loved them. I think they were like three pounds and four pounds or maybe a bit cheaper than that, I can't remember. Then I've got this little collection prints print, which I need to put in a frame. I just thought that was lovely. They do all of these kind of gorgeous landscapes and stuff. Um, all from Home Sense. I think that may actually have been from Maison du Monde, the little coral. I had that a really long time. And then some of my favourite books. And then the star was from The Range, Home Sense, some faux eucalyptus. The thing that it's in is actually a lantern, but I used it as a little vase because obviously the flowers are well the plants are fake um that was from h&m and then on the fireplace uh, yeah so dad sort of built out this little bit for us and um we bought this live wood i guess it's a shelf we chose a shelf instead of like a chunky mantle just because i th i liked that style more got that on etsy um again i'll try and link the seller more of my little pots <laughs> i've got a fireside candle which i got at um bista village so i got that has i got the price on it no but i got that a little bit of a discount last summer but i knew it would be really nice for this time of year oh, it smells really smoky and lovely um and then this was from home sense as well and then this was from ebay here i would say this is like the least finished area this is my dressing table, which you will have actually seen if you've watched any previous room tours in every single bedroom I've ever had since I started making videos. I got it when I was 18 for my birthday. And even though it may not really go with the room anymore, like I can't part with it. I should probably say the walls are Farrow and Ball, um, Wimborne White, but we did get it mixed up at the decorating center. Someone asked me why because we, I said in a previous video about things I would do differently, I would never get things mixed again because the colours don't come out right. But in the end, this was such a large room and we did the ceiling in the same colour that for the Wimborne White, we did get it mixed up because we, ma we matched it and we checked and it was a very good match. So we got lucky on that colour and this one is actual Farrow and Ball, but it would have cost us so many hundreds to paint this room. Um, we did match it in the end and saved a little bit of money. So, sorry, I've gone off on a tangent there. So yeah, this is my dressing table. It really needs to be painted. It's just in a bit of a state, really. It hasn't been painted in a long time. Um, so I was going to try and strip it back to the wood and see what it was like underneath. And then if it wasn't any good, I would have just repainted it again. But with the baby and everything, I just haven't got round to it. But I, I still love it. It's just a special thing to me and I haven't really styled the top of this how I would like to but I will get around to that at some point just got a little neon candle that's an Audi um diptyque dupe perfumes little jewelry box with memory stuff in and then over here I've got my mirror this is our lovely olive tree I got this from home since they do really nice faux olive trees um we have some actually in the garden but this was a really good size. It's quite small. It's probably like three, four foot one in a little basket, which was probably from Home Sense as well. And I just loved that. I thought it adds a little bit of greenery to the room. And then my mirror, it was always meant to be like just used and put away because maybe for like outfit photos and, you know, part of what I do. But it just ends up staying here. Um, and it's great because it's actually storage as well. You can lock it, but you can open it up 
and it has loads of sections for jewellery and other bits. So I've got like loads of my Murray rings and earrings there. Shameless plug, sorry guys. And Murray, not everything is Murray, but 99% of it is. And necklaces as well. So obviously I've designed jewellery, so I love to wear it and I wanted to keep it all nice and not tangled. So I thought this was a really good solution for that. And I've got loads more space to fill up as well. The blind, I'm not sure how well I'll be able to show you because as soon as you get close to the window, everything gets like, backlit. Um, but all our blinds are from blinds to go. And this one we decided to go for with a little bit of like a trim on the outer, like the outside bit. And then it's just, again, it's like very similar to the wall color. It's like a creamy white um, Roman blind which is really nice. We did have a little bit of an error with it because we'd intended to have this set into the window, but we've got like a lintel and it wouldn't drill in. So we ended up putting it on the outside, which meant it wasn't quite as big as it should have been like wide, but it's absolutely fine. It doesn't really matter and it does the job. Oh, the only thing I haven't mentioned, I think, is the rug. Oh, it's got this annoying bit that we can't seem to flatten no matter what we do. It's so frustrating, but I got this from... Oh, where did we get this rug? Mine's gone blank again, but I'm going to link it below. This took me so long to find one, the right size and in the right colours. I really wanted this style of rug to just, I think it just adds so much to the room, um, especially when everything is quite light and bright. It definitely needed some pattern, I think. When you walk into the room, this is what you see first. This is a really lovely chest of drawers from Next. If they still do it and other things in the room, I'll link it in the description box below. I think it was called like the Camille Collection or a name like that. So I'll try and link it below, but it's really, really lovely. And I just keep like um, pajamas, joggers, loungewear, you know, all that kind of thing in it. Um, and then on the top, we've got a little bit of pampas grass. This is real here. And then these are some fake stems that I got from HomeSense. This used to be in our hallway in the old house. Um, and I just put it here to keep it safe because obviously it's quite fragile and I just thought it looked quite nice so it's stayed there ever since. Little mirror from my old office which again I just thought was really lovely. I love the um, like, I don't know, like antique, like it almost looks like gold leaf um, and just the bobble design of it. And then I've got a neon diffuser. I've got these old little, I can't remember what they're called now, but I got obsessed with them on eBay for a little bit and like bought loads. Um, so I've got some of those. Again, if I can remember what they're called, I'll link them below because my mind's gone completely blank. And a little candle as well, a pecan cream one. I haven't actually used this. It smells really good though, but it's a bit autumnal. But anyway, it looks nice there. Um, Please excuse this table. I use this sometimes to do work up here and there's not really anywhere else for it to go. So that's gone there for now. Um, so yeah, we have this wall and then you go into the room and oh, I just love coming in here so much. Um, so this end of the room is definitely, it's kind of split into two where this room is like a, an extension. Obviously we didn't do it, but the previous owners or the people before that did it. So. This would have been the bedroom here, but they added that bit on. So it's kind of, I feel like it's two rooms. And like I said, we were gonna take this whole wall out um, to open it right up. But in the end, I just thought it was quite nice. It feels a bit more private in there and like almost as though we have a dressing room and a bedroom. This is um, Ricky's side of the room. So he has four wardrobes and so do I on this side. And as you could see from the before photos or footage, um, we had different doors, but these are the Pax wardrobes, which I absolutely love. I rave about them. So they had all of the Pax inside, which I'll show you in my wardrobe in a minute. I won't open his because that's, you know, that's his thing. Um, and it's probably a mess. Uh, yeah, so they had all of the Pax systems in these wardrobes when we moved in, which was amazing because that saved us so much money. And we just changed the fronts. Um, so we got, we decided to go for these doors, but then the glass ones in the middle, which I'm really glad we did because um, one side was completely glass before and I do think it's nice. It gives this room a bit more light, especially as there's no window at this end of the room. Um, but I didn't want it all to be glass. So this was kind of what we went for and it's a nice little compromise. 
Um, I've just got a little rug down here which we got recently to tie in the sort of greeny bluey cream shades that we have. This was from TK Maxx. I think it was only like 14 99 but I don't know, it's, like, it's a woolen rug and I just thought it was really nice. We have our bathroom or well, ensuite door here, which is a complete mess. This has definitely not been touched at all. We're not even really using it at the moment, so I won't go in there. As you can see, one of the last jobs to do is to paint our new doors. Um, before the doors were like that um, gloss paint and they'd gone yellow. So we just need to paint these ones white, but I really, really like the style of them. Oh, and this is the handle that we went for which again I just thought was gorgeous. It's um, like an antique bronze which we've gone for everywhere on the sockets and the switches which is what I really wanted to do this time. I've mentioned before, um, I, yeah, I really wanted to change everything um, and not just leave those little details like we did in our old house. We just kind of left the old white um, plastic ones on which weren't in the best shape. So over this side it's exactly the same, very symmetrical which I like um, and this is my wardrobe. It's not the tidiest, I haven't organised it in a while but it's not actually too bad. So I've got like jackets and things that side, I've got belts, hair accessories, shoes, socks, some bags, some hair stuff. It, these kind of hold all of my stuff now. Whereas I used to have to have a room dedicated <laughs> to it all. So I'm really pleased. Um, this is all my short hanging stuff. I've got, this is so quick. I probably should do like a wardrobe tour. I'll do one when it looks nicer. So again, this is a, quite an old Ikea. Oh, I forgot I put my glasses in the back there because they, this is not the best storage, storage solution. There's not really that much that works with fitting in here. So I haven't really used it to the best of its abilities, but I'm gonna get something like one of their newer, probably, I don't know, jewelry or sunglasses storage there. Um, I've got bags in there. I've got some shoes and then knitwear folded up, some t-shirts folded up. Again, I really should have organized this before I showed you, but I didn't. Um, so that's in there. The last one is dresses. As you can see by the amount of hangers, I do love my dresses. I really do need to sort it out, um, but I pretty much lived in dresses last summer whilst being pregnant, so um, there is a lot in there. Oh, and down the bottom are my hats. So that's our room. Like I said, I'm so happy with it. I'm so glad that it's done. Um, yeah, it's just, it's so lovely to be in here. So I hope you enjoyed the video and it wasn't too long. It probably is gonna end up being really long, but I just wanted to kind of show you where everything was from in case you like this style as well. And you know, you wanna get bits and bobs. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Emma for sponsoring the video. Like I said, the link to them and the discount will be in the description box below, along with any links I can find to things I mentioned. And I will see you again in another video very soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.